everybody. Welcome back to My View, My Opinion, a commentary program where we get together on any given day at any given hour. And I present to you some trending story happening out there in the world or a trending conversation taking place on social media. And I relate the out there to the in here because I come from the perspective of what can we learn from it. So thank you for joining me for another episode. If you have any questions about who I am, why you don't see me, you only hear my voice, all those answers are actually down there in the description box. And listen, before you get out of here today, I'm not going to ask you to do it now because I know some people need a little bit of time to make up their mind. But before you leave me, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and comment, share it with friends, rate and subscribe. And if you really feel you know, happy, you're welcome to donate via the cash app link that is in the description box. Well, guys, this is a very sensitive topic. And as you saw in the title, I made sure to put that there. Uh, that That is a little bit of a disclaimer and a warning to those who may feel this is a little bit too much for you, um, right? We're, we're not making you listen. So make sure that you're aware of that. So let me give two disclaimers and then we're going to jump into this story. First of all, I want to remind everyone listening that I am talking about this on YouTube. You know, so, you know, we're not at Starbucks. <laughs> if you and I were hanging out at Starbucks, I could just say everything and just say it all out, you know, however. Right. But that's not the where we are. I am on someone else's platform, which means I have to come subject to the rules of the platform. So therefore, as I discuss this, I'm going to be handling it with uh, loving care, shall we say, with kid gloves, uh, very gentle. All right. Uh, secondly, I want to let everyone know that I am not here to hurt any of you listening who may have had an experience like what we're going to talk about. Maybe you were married to a man who you did not know uh, had such problems and uh, you were devastated to find out, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not here to hurt you. Um, I'm not here to make you feel bad about not knowing and all of that stuff. Okay. So I need you just to keep that in mind. Now let's jump to the story. So as you know, this past Monday was the very first episode of a three part series, uh, called Shawnee and Keon's destination. I do. It came on VH1 also was streaming on Paramount plus. And, um, you know, it is encompassing of course, Keon, uh, and Shawnee's relationship, their engagement, and then culminating in their beautiful, beautiful wedding uh, that they had uh, out of the country. And of course, a lot of her castmates from Basketball Wives make appearances on the show as well. So you can imagine that since Monday, there's been a whole lot of conversation happening on social media, church folk, you know, say folk, you know, all kinds of folks saying what they thought. And I'm happy to say that there were a lot of comments out there where people were rooting for them. I, I will say that I'm not out there commenting outside of being here on YouTube, but I will say I am rooting for them. Now, I don't think it's going to work because I've just lived long enough to know that you can't ignore a man's relational patterns and think you're going to be happy with them. It just doesn't work that way. I wish it did. You know, a, a lot of us could say we wish a whole lot of things. But, you know, when you learn a life lesson, you can't forget that. You know, it, it just is what it is. But I still do wish them the best, you know, for however long it's going to last. I want her to be happy in it. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, but there was a uh, predominant question that I saw that I thought was very interesting. And that question y'all is, did Shawnee know prior to marrying Pastor Keon Henderson about all of the rumors surrounding his sexuality? Did she know that and marry him anyway? Or is it possible people were saying on social media that because she is quote unquote, not churched that she didn't know? So what I want to do is give you my view, my opinion on that trending conversation on social media, and then we'll transition to what we, we're going to get out of this and we'll, we'll get out of here. Um, my response to that is, if it's true, and those of you who aren't aware of all of the allegations, there was even just, even just a more recent allegation, uh, 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 allegedly about an incident that took place in Atlanta, Georgia at a Chevron station, um, if you're not aware of all those things, because I can't go into all of that on this platform, you can Google. OK, I'm going to ask those of you in the comments not to go there. OK, now you can do what you want, but I'm asking you to follow my lead and just try to keep things as clean as you can. OK, um, now, if it's true that Pastor Keon Henderson has a secret life that he's been living for a number of years, if that is true, my response to the question of did she know and marry him anyway my response will be yes. She may not have known the fullness of it, but if it's true, she definitely saw 
the red flags of it because there's no such thing, ladies. Now, ladies, I'm going to have to get on some of us. There's no such thing as being in love with the man, loving this man, spending time with this man. Now, these people have are not out there saying that they did not have sex before marriage. So I will tell you, I assume that they did, because if they didn't, I will promise you it would be a feather in her and his cap to tell the whole world, just like um, Megan and Devon, that they waited to have sex. So the fact that they're not even mentioning anything like that, you know, I think it's pretty clear, you know, that what went on there. Um, that's just my personal opinion of, you know, the public stuff. But there's no such thing as loving a man and, and spending quality time with him. And according to the both of them, they dated for almost two years. There's no such thing as being in that kind of situation. And whatever problem a man has, whether he secretly uses drugs or he secretly has a gambling problem or he's a cheater or he's a liar or he you fill in the blank or he has some major problem, you know, like living a secret life, you know, not willing to come out and say who he really is. There's no such thing as not seeing the signs of that or anything. And I know as women, we love to lie like that, don't we? We love to say, (laughs) I married him and then I found out, fill in the blank. You see, but those of us who, um, you know, have come to a place where we can be honest about whatever it is, know that as women, we always see red flags. We always get whispers from the knowing part of ourselves as women. But very often, I would say 90% of the time, we talk ourselves out of it. For instance, let me give you an example. You're married, you're dating a guy, you're dating a guy, not married to him, you're dating a guy, and you are really into this guy. And let's say he has a secret life, like what's alleged uh, that this guy has going on. He's visiting with a friend and you walk into the office unexpectedly and, you know, nothing's going on, but you walk in and it, the energy in that room just don't feel right. Like you just get that feeling something's not right here. And so you do whatever you did, you know, do, 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 you know, did to get, you know, that you came in the room for rather and you leave and that, that, that is bothering you that, that sense that, wait a minute, something <laughs> went right in there. But you just talk yourself out of it. You say, well, you know, you know, whatever you however it is that you would talk yourself out of it. Okay, so then let's say years later, you marry him and then you find out the full picture that, yes, he had a secret life going on. The very first thing you're conscious, the knowing part of you is going to bring up to you was that incident, that time you walked in the room. You see, there is ladies, all my young ladies, if you're 18 to 35, please hear me. Learn to trust your own intuition as a woman. You see, every human being comes in this world. We believe from the biblical standpoint, we are a spirit. We have a soul and we live in this body. See, that's standard equipment. Every person, male, female, is a spirit, has a soul, lives in a body. Standard equipment. It's kind of like your basic car. But see, then as women, God has given us some upgrades, because of what he called us to do, a part of what he's called us to do, our part in humankind, our part in humanity. You know, every single person walking this planet came, came from the womb of a woman. And so God gave us some upgrades. We have a certain thing. Uh, it's called intuition, but it's even more than that. It's such a knowing that we can love a man and actually know who he is. We can know him better than he knows himself. And most women will tell you they know their man, but even if he don't know that they know, they know him better than he knows himself. They could be in a foreign country and somebody walk up to them and said, your man did fill in the blank. And she knows that man so well without seeing nary a receipt can say, yeah, he did it or he had the potential to do it. That's just how. how everything this knowing part of us is. And unfortunately, as women, we just talk ourselves out of so much of it most of the time. So if he is living a secret life, she has seen it. She's seen glimpses of it. She's seen red flags. She's walked in rooms. She's over her. She's walked in. She's something. Because see, we all know that there is no perfect person, right? We all say that all the time. I say it to y'all. There ain't no perfect person. 
You know, we say that, but yet we seem to think there, there then is some person who could perfectly hide their secret life. You see, it don't work that way because there is no perfect person. There is no perfect person who's perfect at hiding all their creeps and tiptoes if that's what's going on. See, there are slip ups because there is no perfect person. So I, I present to you the answer to that question that if it's true, yes, she she definitely she definitely saw some things. But she married him. Now, who knows? It could be a situation where she you know, knew about the rumors and asked him about it and he denied it. And that was good enough for her. And she didn't feel the need to, to investigate further or have someone look into it. You know, when I say someone, I mean a, a private investigator company, look into it. Um, or maybe she talked to him and he owned up to having, you know, problems in the past, but maybe alleged, you know, said that he's free now, you know, you just never know. Or it could have even been a situation where she brought it up to him, these rumors and such, and he owned up to it. And she's very much aware that, you know, Hey, this is what he's going to do too. And maybe she's okay with it. You see, there are all kinds of variations, but what I will say for sure is that if it's true that there's some such thing as a woman who hasn't seen something, it, it just doesn't work that way. And I know I'm going to have tons of women who are going to try to justify their own actions or inaction, I should say, by telling me what I'm saying is not true. But you know, you can type it till the cows come home, right? You can, you can do that. But you know what I'm telling you is true. There's not a situation you've been in with a man that you loved as a woman and later found out he had some kind of problem. Like I said, it didn't have to be a secret life, but just some kind of problem. That when you saw, oh my God, he is, or he has, or he is struggling with that all of those times, uh, all those little red flags, the things you ignored along the way, if it were me, the things I ignored along the way, don't immediately come rushing back to your conscious part of your mind, because that's just how we are made as human beings. Now, as I end, let's talk about what we can learn uh, from it as women. I know I have a lot of men listening and unfortunately, you know, listen, guys, um, I, I try to reverse things sometimes, but you know, I, I've only been a woman my whole life. Okay. And so, uh, I, I don't feel that it's my, uh, I, I'm not in the lane to be able to kind of talk to men about, you know, whatever, uh, you just have to take what I'm saying and, and use your good old fashioned God given common sense and extract from it what you can use in your life. Okay. Um, but ladies in this situation, whether it's true or not true, you see, whether it's true or not true, it goes back to what we've been talking about now here for the last many years is that as women, it's our job, you see, to make sure that the person we're allowing into our life is safe for us, that he's emotionally safe, that he's physically safe, that he's not a danger to us in any way, shape or form. And that doesn't have to be sexual. It could be a danger to us financially because, well, he don't want to keep a job. He's always got some pipe dream, some new business. Well, where are you going to get this money for this business? You know, we have to, it's, it's up to us to, to have our hearts open, but also be wise about the kind of men we allow in. Listen, y'all hear me say this all the time because it's true. This world is full of good quality black men who love, uh, who want to love uh, a woman, who want to be in a monogamous relationship with a woman who wants to help you with your children. If you have children, this world is full of these kinds of men who are also safe. They're safe to be with. You can truly rest your heart in him and not be worried about a secret life and a this and a that and something else. But <laughs> because we know we do live in this world where there are all kinds of things going on, we can't just not do our due diligence. You understand what I'm saying? So as I end, if you are a single woman listening to me and you're dating a man and you've been dating him for a significant amount of time, and yet if I were to grill you about certain things, you wouldn't be able to answer me like basic questions then you haven't done your due diligence and it will probably come back to bite you in the end. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Listen, leave your thoughts about this story below, the trending conversation. Remember guys, we got to do our best to keep it clean, all right? Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you guys later. Mm -hmm.